it is Arsenal 3, Manchester United 1. Manchester United losing to Arsenal in the last eight minutes of added times. It was all good up to, up to 90 minutes, but then Manchester United capitulated against Arsenal. It was a game where, in my opinion, guys, I don't feel like we should have lost that game. We didn't deserve to lose. We should have gotten our point. But it is what it is. In games like this, it's about fine margins or small margins. And the margins were when we made those defensive changes, we just collapsed against Arsenal on the counter-attack as well. And in set pieces where I've kept on saying on several occasions that Manchester United struggled to defend set pieces. And once again, and yet again, Manchester United conceded a goal against Arsenal. The, the second goal especially. But of course, there was VAR, there was... There was controversy, there was catastrophe, there was just so much in one game, so much emotions. In fact, let's start it off straight in the first 45 minutes because Manchester United started off so good. A good 45 minutes for Manchester United. A, a, a 45 minutes where Manchester United themselves was dominant against Arsenal in terms of possession, dominating. But the one thing that we could, couldn't do against Arsenal while dominating possession, we just couldn't break their defensive line. Although we got the first goal, Ericsson as well with a fine pass, split pass straight through the line for Marcus Rashford to run onto, for Rashford to just cut inside on the, on the right hand side and the left hand side, on, uh, on his right foot I mean, and then of course scoring that beautiful goal, making it 1-0 to Manchester United, thinking that it was going to last, yes Rashford got that goal in, but 36 seconds later, Arsenal equalised making it 1-1, oh the god. Arsenal cutting the ball in for Odegaard to just slot it in as well. What a wonderful finish by Odegaard. It was half-time. Manchester United still dominating possession as well. Second half, 1-1. Manchester United conceding a penalty. But that penalty was overturned by VAR um, with, with Casemiro. And of course, Aaron Bissaka, I believe it was and, and Ketio that got tripped. Did it all, all got driven? Was it Havertz? Havertz, Havertz as well, involving Havertz. But Havertz never got touched. There was no contact, in my opinion, and it was resyndicated. But however, Manchester United making it 2 1 in the 80 minutes or something like that. But to be overturned by VL for offline, you know what? That really pissed me off because to me, I thought, Arsenal, you was fucking lucky. You guys were lucky with that. That, that overturned offside goal. Like, if it was onside, Manchester United themselves would have won that game. Arsenal would have been huffing and puffing. But no, second half, again, like I said before, eight minutes left. Manchester United, all they needed to do was hold on for eight minutes to get that point, which I did predict a, a loss or just a point for Manchester United. So, it just, it did happen. Again, from a set piece, Manchester United conceding a goal from a set piece, which I just thought to myself, Damn it, guys, you must sort yourself out when it comes to defensive set pieces. Yes, I knew it for the moment Maguire came on. I was like, yep, yeah, we lost this game. Maguire came on, we lost this game. And look at it now, we lost this game. But then the third goal coming in, Manchester United defensively on a counter-attack against, I mean, Arsenal, counter-attacking against Manchester United. For us to concede like that, Gabriel is doing everything, twisting and turning players and goalkeepers, going around and finishing the goal. What an excellent goal it was for Gabriel Jesus. But Manchester United himself just losing the game the last eight minutes is totally unacceptable. You know what I mean, guys? Like Certain players as well didn't turn up. But again, Rashford, although I love the goal that he scored, throughout the whole 19 minutes, he was dog shit, especially in the last 10 minutes as well. The decision making was poor when he had the opportunities there as well. It was poor. Bruno Fernandes, he ran around like a dog. But of course, he was just not in it in the game, you know. He never turns up in the big game. That's the one thing I have to say about Bruno Fernandes. Never turns up in these big games, you know. Never shows himself and controls that midfield, which he didn't. But Ericsson did. Ericsson did. Ericsson done so well. Beating, um, getting the ball back as well, intercepting at times. Oh, now now in that first forty-five minutes, what a wonderful goalkeeper he is! You know, touching the ball so many times. Dalo, defensively solid throughout the ninety minutes until the last eight minutes. But it is what it is. I thought Hoyland came on and showed some strength and resilience as well. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, 
it wasn't meant to be for Manchester United again, just like it was at the Emirates last season. Manchester United losing it in the last couple of minutes against Arsenal, three one. Hopefully, when we t- when we go back to Old Trafford, we overturn this against Arsenal and beat them because we didn't deserve to lose that game, guys. I don't know what you guys think. Did we deserve to lose that game or did we? Did we? De- did we? Did did it? Did we deserve it to lose the game or didn't we? Like, come on, tell me now, guys, in the comments, guys. Man of the match to me, for me, Manchester United, it has to go to Dalot. Solid throughout the whole 90 minutes as well, defensively. And then, of course, um, Dunkirk, the match, has to go back to the squad for just five margins the last eight minutes. It just wasn't good enough. So you can see two goals like that, 3-1 for Arsenal. Hey, they got their 10 points. We've got six points or four points behind them now. Everyone can do what they want. You can troll as much as you like, but I'm here for that. But outside of my ground, we didn't deserve to lose that game. I, th- I thought we was excellent throughout the whole 90 minutes until the last eight minutes, guys. Honest opinion. It is what it is, man. But guys, you guys let me know who your man in the matches, who your donkey of the matches as well, and also your thoughts in the comments as well. Tenor got it wrong in the substitution in the last, especially for the defensive one. But it happens. Shit like this happens. And we, it's just about how we deal with it. But guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivor and Spice. As always, remember, we are live on Monday, 8 p.m. to discuss this match in full with the man them as well. Remember to keep it united, as always say. And remember to keep it ready united. Your boy is out disappointed. It's the international break. What a way to lose. What a way to go out for the international break. It's just not good enough. But, guys, as always, enjoy. Peace. See you next time. Boom.